while whole wheat bread is more nutritionally dense than white bread, conventional whole wheat bread in America has far more glycogen. All right, I'm always amazed by the amount of false claims that can be made in one short TikTok video, and this one is no exception. So this was just the first part. So first of all, anytime somebody is claiming far more, they should be giving numbers along with that. So what does he mean by far more? I covered this on my wheat myth video, but under 3% of wheat acres in the US are actually sprayed with glyphosate. So it's, an, it's approved for a dry down or a desiccation. Um, it is very rarely used. I also explained in that last video how this could result in parts per billion levels in foods, which are very, very low levels, almost undetectable levels. So saying that on whole wheat, it's far more, you need to be giving numbers surrounding that so we can understand what that means. Uh, a few more parts per billion is not far more. That's already a very low amount. So as always, ask for citations. And of course, I did. None were given. Because the hull of the wheat is on the outside, and when it's sprayed with the insecticide, the hull absorbs most of the all right, here's a little process flow diagram of how wheat is processed. There are a lot of step steps involved to get it from the field to a bag of flour. Whole wheat obviously does contain more of that outer bran part, but let's just take a look at the processing. So it involves some water washing, separating, sifting, but glyphosate is water soluble. We have these washing steps. We have all these different processing steps. It's getting broken down throughout the process, whether it's whole wheat or white flour. Again, to even assess whether it is a poison, which he claims, we would need to know the dose. You can't be talking about relative differences in numbers or claiming something is a poison without literally giving any information about the doses you're talking about. He also called it an insecticide. It's not an insecticide. It's an herbicide. So it's sprayed on weeds to kill weeds. Um, there, there is no glyphosate tolerant wheat. So that's the reason why we know it's not sprayed on wheat while it's growing because if it was, it would die. Um, it's made to kill weeds. That's why it's only used in dry down applications. And again, that's less than 3% of wheat crops in the US. Whole wheat bread grown in America is far more likely to give you cancer than white bread, despite being more nutritious. It's almost like he doesn't even believe his own claims at this point. So why not just throw in a cancer claim? All right, again, if you're making a claim that something is causing cancer, you need to give the dose that is in the food and provide evidence showing that that dose causes cancer in humans. There's been so much research on glyphosate that it's actually an international scientific consensus at this point that the parts per billion levels in foods do not cause cancer in humans. Enjoy your bread and don't let misinformation scare you about perfectly safe foods.